Good morning, Tug Buddies and Buddy Tuggers. Uh, today, we're going to go back to a reaction style of content. If you've watched my other React videos on this channel, then this will be a lot like getting the Big Mac squared. You enjoy it while you watch it, but you feel twice as guilty once you've finished it all the way through. But you'll come back for more. Don't worry, I won't tell anybody. As long as you hit that motherfucking like button and that subscribe button. Have you done it yet? You should have. Anyway. Now that I'm done video shaming you for watching my awful ass content, we're going to be reacting to some of my favorite Instagram accounts that post either video or photo content revolving around photography or cinematography. If that's confusing to you, don't worry, it was confusing to me when I wrote that section of the script. All links to these amazing creators will be in the description, and if you feel so inclined to go follow them, please do. Uh, a lot of them are awesome people, and I just genuinely love watching their content. I will now cut to the reaction portion of me. It may also be an abrupt cut like the other video. <laughs> or not. Fade. Just kidding. It's probably an auto cut already. If not, I'm going to cut from what I'm saying right here. It's going to be really abrupt. Well, hello, buddy. That sounded like Nogla more than it sounded like this man. Uh, this is old time hockey. No, we're not related. Uh, I just happen to have similar hair. And a fucking way worse mustache than this man. I could grow my hair out that long, but I can't grow my mustache that large because my shit kind of stops on the German lines, which is not great. His account is always a vibe. Mostly just because, I mean. Well, hello, buddy. I bought some cranberry apple oatmeal. Dude, like the way his videos are structured, I really like these because they're just very calming. And if, if you're laying in bed watching this at like fucking two in the morning because you can't sleep like I can't because fucky brain. Dude, this shit is like relaxing as shit to watch. It's super nice. I feel like I'm reacting to food again. Hearing a Sega game boot up makes me feel like a child again. So that makes me happy. I'm not gonna lie to you. This shit looks low key good as fuck and it looks probably decent for you. I don't know if that's coffee or tea, but he just has so many of these videos and just pretty cool posts about him making you relaxed. It's pretty sick. I personally really like his his stuff, but we're going to be going over some of my favorite Instagram accounts. Uh, I've picked eight because I follow like a lot of people and to get through all of them would take a while. Uh, these are the eight that I see the most of on my uh, timeline. Obviously, I had to include some of peter mckinnon's work because i mean dude fucking come on the sparks flying off the fucking fire with the cabin in the background being the only thing popping out from the color of the fuck of the entirety of the woods that are covered in snow this shit looks fucking gas oh how badly i want to go to monument valley uh which won't be too far away from where i'm about to live in comparison to where I live now. Good old motherfucking Chris Ramsey up in this bitch. Shout out to Chris Ramsey. I was in one of his oldest videos. Uh, pretty sure... <laughs> I mentioned it in another video before this. It was his a Q and a that he did fucking years ago, dude. I can't even remember. I'm pretty sure I had to do shit with magic. Back when I used to do shit with the cards. Uh, if you don't follow Chris Ramsey on Instagram, you should definitely do that too. He has some pretty sick ass fucking content. But uh, moving on, some of you guys may or may not recognize the man that I'm about to show. If you watch the show Yellowstone, you will 100% recognize who this man is. Uh, this man is the dude who plays Casey on Yellowstone. And he makes some of the coolest fucking nature content I have ever seen. I love, love nature photography. Uh, whether it be landscape or it be wildlife photography, all of this shit. Just like, dude, come on. These shots where the sunlight is hitting the steam coming out of their nose is so sick to me. That's a pretty badass eagle. That's cool. But I wanted to look at his Raven line of work is super cool to me because I have, uh, for, for those of you who don't know, I have two... I have a raven skull tattooed here. I have a raven flying in front of a moon here. And I have one perched on my shoulder up here. Uh, I am a huge fan of Edgar Allan Poe poems. And that's kind of like my whole vibe as to how I got into 
uh, good music, actually. I look for complex rhyme schemes and a lot of things. Poetry really got me into that type of shit, and Edgar Allan Poe was one of the first poets that I ever read because I had to do it for class, and uh, me being me in class, I was like, man, fuck this. And then I read it, and then I'm like, holy fuck, this is actually pretty sick. So uh, pay attention to school, kids, because you might actually find a hobby you like. I don't write poetry that I'll ever share. I really do enjoy really dark poetry. Probably why I like a lot of really deep storytelling and like hip hop music and or rap of any kind. I wish I could reference this for a fucking tattoo. I swear to God, I would get one tattooed like on my, on my forearm because I... I love Ravens because they're smart as shit too. His name is Isaac Picks on Instagram. Uh, you see his tag up here. I will also show his account name up here. Please, if you are a fan of Yellowstone, for one, you get more content from a dude who is beloved from the show. But also, he takes fire ass photos. Like, look at this fucking moose. This shit looks awesome. I know you can't see the whole photo because he has like a lower third of the shoulder right here that I can't completely show because my OBS is stupid and won't let me do so. Uh, next, we have a, I would say, lesser known photographer. Name is uh, Petrella Visuals on Instagram or Nick Petrella. Shout out to this dude because he actually is pretty, he's a pretty fucking cool guy. Uh, he has a lot of these types of shots. I'll show some of these shots again, like the caliper shots, uh, the front third angle, but these are the kind of posts where he goes around and walks around in town. Uh, I believe he lives, yeah, in Dayton, Ohio. He uses the same camera I do, which is pretty sick. He does POV shots like the one that I did. Uh, this shit to me is just dope. I love, I love seeing other people doing POV shit because I personally really love POV photography because you get to see a person's thought process while they do the shot sometimes, unless you're me and then I cut out half the video of me talking because I say wild shit that I can't post on here. Yeah, dude, I just love his style of photography it's pretty sick i really recommend going to see like his posts i would highly recommend please go follow uh petrella visuals on insta they are fucking awesome at, at what they do next i will be moving on to you may notice a little bit of a theme here is i like people who shoot cars because cars are cool they just make for great shots man and some people are really good at making shots with out of vehicle being in there but uh mike or north borders uh, i have mentioned him on the channel before he is by far one of my favorite photographers especially in the car section of instagram because his car shots are fucking mint they're so good but i will share a couple of those with you uh obviously he is another sony user because sony gang shit is awesome I have a very old Sony, but still a great camera. But I mean, come on, dude, look at these rolling shots. Like, dude, the motion blur around the car, around the Ferrari is so, so fucking good. It looks so crisp. Like, it looks so clean. This shot, I actually watched the video where he shot these, where he shot these photos. Uh, I highly recommend going to see his YouTube. It's incredible, super sick. And also this location, I saw how he got there like got in there it's pretty cool the spiral parking garage and there was literally not a soul in that garage i mean like even a street photography stuff i mean come on this looks like movie shit this is why i like people who do cinematic air quotes it gives you a cinematic feel i'll say that it's a little bit easier than saying oh it's very cinema like and it makes you look like a movie no shit that's why i say it looks like cinema it looks like a movie so therefore you like cinema stuff if you like watching movies you like cinematic shots because that's all fucking movies are but anyway <laughs> i really really love these shots with the reflections coming in the street it looks really fucking cool when it rains i love going and taking photos i see you one more shot in front of 7-eleven yeah a little 7-eleven shot right there also that gtr is fucking sick that's such a nice car highly 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 recommend going to go see his account and his youtube because his youtube and his instagram are two of my favorite things to look at next thing i will go on to is something a little bit more different uh this guy's name is street frames everything here looks like dream state shit and i really really fucking enjoy this kind of photography i don't know if some of these are completely ai it might be but i don't care even if they are because that shot 
if that is real, is fucking cool. Okay, I guess this is a real photo, because he does credit the original photographer, so if while I'm flipping through this, you see up here the name of the photographer, just pause where it is and just go to their at, because I'm sure that they have other fire ass photos. Shit like this, that half and half shot of the train station looks fucking tight. I, I like that a lot. I highly recommend if you want to find like photos that give you this type of a vibe, please go to street frames and look at some of the photographers and videographers that are featured on this channel and go give them a follow because some of them are incredible. Not even some of them, all the ones that he posts, they're so good. It's so sick. Like this shot right here. I love this shot. I highly recommend if you want to go find like a fuck ton of new people that you really like following go to street frames because they have a bunch of people that they feature on there that are really good the next one may be a bit of a surprise to some of you and not much of a surprise if you know me as a person big jiggly panda or anthony as some of you may know him is a youtuber he has been with a group of people that i have been watching since i was 13 years old i am now 24 almost 25. i have been watching this man scream laugh at random shit for most if not all of my teenage to adult years he is fucking hilarious he's awesome it's a lesser known thing that he's actually like a really good photographer <laughs> like surprisingly good for just a random like person who does youtube some of these shots are just fucking cool like they're dope that looks a lot like the spiral garage that mike was shooting or north borders was shooting in that other video these shots that's awesome like this is they're such good photos. They're just like cool street photos, dude. They're awesome. In my opinion, I love them. This is another one. Like this looks like a shot zoomed out kind of like my uh, Union Station shot. Like this looks like an establishing shot. You'd see your main character walking across the street and then it would punch in as soon as they get here to that corner on the street right here. And then you just see them walking down the street with like a follow car on this side. If you don't follow any of his YouTube shit, you 100% need to, but it's, it's fantastic shit. I, I love it. The last Instagram account that I will go over, the Shutter Ghost. I know he's not the only person that does this type of content of people going around to random people's cars and taking photos of them. I believe he only posts reels. I don't think he posts just photos. I do genuinely love some of his content where he goes around and just shoots random vehicles that he finds on the road. He has a little printing station in the back of his car. It's fucking badass little editing station with his ipad so cool i don't know what this little printer is i think it's a little canon printer but i really want one to just like print little tiny photos like this for just like myself like that shit's badass and then he puts both of those photos in a bag and then puts them under the windshield wiper i think he posted a video not too long ago where a car honked at him while he was doing this because i think the owner was watching him do it or something he goes and just sees like a bunch of cars Kind of just like this one. It's just sitting out in the middle of nowhere. And is it staged? No fucking idea. Do I give a shit? Hell no, because these photos are sick. And then he just like prints them off and puts cool little stickers and shit in a bag and gives them to him. I highly recommend, again, going to uh, the Shutter Ghost on Instagram. All the people that I have mentioned will be linked in the description of this video. So please go give them a follow. Please go give them likes. Please go just give them your time but that is probably gonna do it today i was gonna have another pov video but i uh, didn't fucking get around to going out and shooting last night i was gonna do a night photography one because i like night photography more than i do like daytime photography because it's a lot easier to shoot because there's not as many fucking obnoxious lights like the sun i'm going to now go make food if you by any chance liked the video please like subscribe share it with a friend if you love the video i will see you guys next week for the next installation of mediocre content hope you guys have a great week a great day all that shit anyway deuces